Okay. I finally got my Mega Squirt 3 in from Simtech. If you saw my other video. Um, wiring diagram for just the basic MS3. You know, board. Um, here's the harness. Uh, you would have to hardwire this in. You see those? That would go in the bottom pin, so the basic one would pop in the bottom. And then, if you have, like me, the MS3X expansion board for sequential fuel, you'd get the harness on the top and then wire that in as well after dealing with this guy, just minus the fuel and spark. But uh, anyways, I didn't have the extra $80 to uh, do the MS3X yet, but the board is installed, like you can see, so later when I'm ready to upgrade. But anyways, uh, about this hardwiring thing, I don't really like the idea of having all these wires, you know, just dangling in, splicing them in, and I don't really want to pull my harness out, my factory harness, and wire it in that way. So my next option would be to get a harness to my factory uh, one and what I'm saying is you know something I can wire up into this that can go where my factory ECU went and I'm going to show you kind of how I did that so what I did was I made my own to plug into my 95 Eclipse and there's the wires so all I got to do is connect the ends here to the ones I need and plug this in. I still got to straighten those out a little bit, but other than that, it's pretty much done. I have my diagram here for my 60 pin connector that I just made. So it's going to tell me what needs to go to what on my Mega Squirt. And here's the Mega Squirt wires and the MS3X diagram. I also have a color coat diagram for my factory setup so I can match them up without having to worry, worry about positives being grounds or whatever. But basically how I made this little masterpiece here took you know over 10 hours to make you got to be patient but uh, I cut this along here with a saw me and my buddy about right here we cut it off all the way straight down with a saw off the stock ECU because it was burned anyways and the pins were still stuck in there so I pushed all 60 pins out laid them out on a table connected butt connectors to it and I sanded this down so the pins could get some more leeway. After I sanded it down, connected wires to all those other ends, electric taped them and stuck the pins back in here. After this was sanded down so I can get some good length. After that, I put some quick steel around it just to get it started. I'm going to get the rest of it soon but I wanted you all to see all these wires these going to these pins. This orange seal here that has all these wires sorted out for me originally was in here and I popped it out because I'm going to need it back here to keep them situated while I'm wiring everything up. I'm going to leave it back there. I like it better that way. It keeps the wires sorted for me. So this is kind of just an idea of how you know you guys can make your own harness. I know they don't make anything for Eclipses you know especially my year 95 because it's different you know with the 420A in it. So unfortunately I couldn't just buy one you know for 70 bucks or something but if you got the patience and the time, you can make one. Uh, just kind of do what I did. You should be all right. But yeah, I'm gonna wire it up, and if everything runs good, uh, you know, I'll make an updated video on that. All in there, keeping the wires kind of tucked away. You know, I like things neat. So, but uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll update later. This is just an update to my video. A little quick update. I forgot to mention. Okay, while I was making this, as I was sticking the pins in, because they go by rows all the way down, it's a little hard to, you know, control everything at the same time. So, what I did, you know, before I did the quick steel is, I would put in two or three wires on a row at a time, and I would dab them with a little bit of uh, super glue, like industrial super glue. It's a really tiny bottle for $4, but it's totally worth it. You just hold the pins there for a minute or two and they'll hold themselves straight in there until you know everything's dried up and then pretty soon the wires will lean on each other for support, kind of help you out and then you know when everything's dry and you got the quick steel, they're solid, they're never going to move. 
But yeah, I just wanted to put that in there because I forgot to mention it. And, you know, after it's all said and done, you can go around and put some more glue there. Kind of help you before you quick steal it. But yeah, I just thought you guys should know that. It might help you out so you're not sitting there frustrated. Alright, later.